Fraser Anning that will live long in the memory. Crossbench Senator has delivered a provocative first speech to Parliament calling for a ban on Muslims migrating to Australia. Fraser Anning also used the term final solution when talking about immigration, a phrase used by Hitler in Nazi Germany. It's true. In a speech arguing in favour of a return to a white Australia policy, Anning suggested having a popular vote would be a good final solution. And that is just not a phrase that you want to throw around for pretty obvious reasons. It's the same reason that we don't name babies Adolf anymore, or have <laughs> tiny moustaches, or call yoga retreats concentration camps. We could, it would make sense, but people would be understandably upset. But not only did Anning refuse to apologise, the head of his party backed him up. Do you support Fraser Anning's comments in his maiden speech? Absolutely, 1,000%. I support everything he said. It was a magnificent speech. It was solid gold. And he stumbled on a bit of malapropism there. And, hey, he didn't go to university. He didn't get to a university and know the significance of all these words. Okay, first... <laughs> First, the speech was not solid gold, and I really hope in Australia you don't have to go to university to have heard about the Holocaust. <laughs> look, look, he bears no responsibility for the words he uses, he doesn't even know what they mean. If you give a thousand monkeys a thousand typewriters and one of them wrote, Hail Hitler, would you get all angry with him? No, you'd be impressed, that's a solid gold monkey right there. <laughs> now, that man, that man is Bob Catter head of the self-named Catter's Australian Party, who has a temperament to match his face. Just, just take a look at the hostile tone of a previous campaign ad. One Australian lawmaker has come under fire for the bad timing of his new campaign video, a mock execution of his political opponents, showing him blowing a smoking gun as lifeless bodies lie in the background. Wow! I haven't seen a commercial that extreme since the Geico Gecko slit the Aflac duck's throat. You, you went too far this time, you little shit. But look, underneath his eccentric personality is the heart of a truly unpleasant human being. Last year, Catter said, it is imperative that people from the Middle East and North Africa are barred from entering Australia. And this week, when questioned about Fraser Anning's comments, he said this. Are we racist? Well, we're Australians. I don't know if that's racist or not, but we're not apologising for it to anyone. Oh, I can take this one. You are, and it is. And look, I, I'm not saying all Australians are racist. That would be racist. And I would never say something like that because I'm not Australian. But, but, but in fairness to Catter, he's not just racist, he's also homophobic. In 2011, he said gay marriage should be ridiculed. And when Australia approved same-sex marriage just last year, he tried to laugh it off before doing a hard emotional turn. You know, people are entitled to their sexual proclivities, you know. I mean, let there be a thousand blossoms bloom as far as I'm concerned. You know, but I ain't spending any time on it because in the meantime, every three months, a person is torn to pieces by a crocodile in North Queensland. OK, you can't deflect from a question of civil rights with a weird animal fact. Oh, people are entitled to be worried about voter suppression, that's fine. But I ain't spending any time on it when giraffes are walking around with black tongues all day. It's a disgrace. And look, I could spend all night showing you clips of Kata being terrible, but I just want to show you one more, because his objection to same-sex marriage isn't just that it distracts from croc-on-bloke crime. No, it's also because of this. The homosexual groupings in Australia, they took the word gay. It was the most beautiful word in the English language. And they said, oh, God, we'll take that word and we'll have it as ours. Oh, they've got this thing called marriage, the other mob. Oh, well, we'll take that too, you know? Well, what else are they going to take? Oh, I can tell you that. <laughs> Nothing. Because they didn't take the words gay or marriage in the first place. Words can evolve over time and be used in new contexts. There are very, very few exceptions to that rule, Bob. Can you think of one? Can you think of one, Bob? I can. And if you think hard enough, I'm sure you'll come up with a final solution. <laughs> and now, this. And now, the holiday local news team's dread. And today, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know it, mm -hmm. it's National Tell-A-Joke Day. Oh, yay, Greg. By the way, awesome. uh, I'm already warming up. Tomorrow is National Joke Day. Oh, oh all right. no. What kind of <laughs> jeans does Jaws wear? Denim, 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 denim.